Australia can create a national postal bank that would end the destructive monopoly of the Big Four. I'm Robert Barwick of the Citizens Party. A national postal bank would have many benefits. It would provide a safe place to deposit savings, offer convenient service to rural communities abandoned by the big banks, and contribute to national economic development. In fact, Japan's post bank was crucial in creating the economic miracle there after World War II. In the 1990s, it was the largest bank in the world. In Australia, meanwhile, the big four banks were cited by the Banking Royal Commission for charging dead people fees, signing up vulnerable people to useless insurance, and systematically undermining the retirement nest eggs of workers through high charges and poor investment returns. The Financial Review had pointed out the banks had charged people for perhaps a billion dollars of services they never received. Isn't it time to end the banking monopoly of the big four? In 2018, various media reported that Christine Holgate, Australia Post Chief Executive, was discussing creating a postal bank. You can see this report points out that the banks will fight it tooth and nail. Over the last decade, the big four shut down branches in hundreds of rural communities to cut costs, putting profit before customer service. Australia Post filled the gap and provided banking services, but local post offices were forced to hire more people and incur more costs, threatening LPOs with bankruptcy. So Christine Holgate negotiated a $100 million concession from the banks to cover the costs of the banking services Australia Post was providing their customers on the cheap. How angry do you suppose that made the big four? Well, it appears the banking empire has struck back. Christine Holgate is the victim of a malicious, politically motivated character assassination over Cartier watches she bought two years ago and she's been forced to resign. Senator Kimberly Kitchen grandstanded and wrote she nearly had to be picked up off the floor when Christine Holgate said she hadn't used taxpayers' money to reward the executives who got the $100 million concession from the banks. Compare that to the government website which says the following, Australia Post is required by law to operate commercially and does not receive funding from the government. In August 2016, as Treasurer, Scott Morrison said the call for a Banking Royal Commission was nothing more than a populist whinge and voted against it 26 times. The Citizens Party has responded to his shameful and disingenuous attack on Christine Holgate by calling on him to resign. We are also drafting legislation to create a national postal bank. Please sign our petition for this bank and help us finally end the banking monopoly of the big four. The Australian people deserve better. Help us strike a blow for the good and sign our petition today.